Hey guys, how's it going? Pennsylvania Outdoors here. Alright, today we are going to do some commentary on this four-wheeler video. And I know what you're probably thinking, oh, why is this kid riding on the road? It's not really go out, whatever. You know, this road right here is a nothing. It's just an old dirt road that nobody really cares about. And this is going to take us up to a trail that we're going to ride. So... Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird and if I cough a couple times. I'm kind of battling a cold right now and I figure I'm home all day and might as well just work on some videos. So, I'm uh, doing that right now. And we're coming up on this kind of road that's kind of a driveway. It goes back into a couple houses and we go down to the end of this. We go down to the end of this and then, um, then it'll take us up out this trail. That trail is kind of winds and all that all the way up over the top of the mountain. So I'm gonna bump the mic. So yeah, we got there's a house right there. If you look up here in the top left hand corner right now, you can see the windmills. I uh, don't see any of them in these in this video. I could probably go for another ride sometime, make another video like that. Make a video show you guys the windmills. Just checking. Yep, still recording good. There, just change the clip. Don't want, I don't like clips getting too long on my GoPro because uh, you know, converting gets hard. And so, you know, I know you're probably also thinking, why do you avoid the mud? But you know, I was just wearing my sneakers and I didn't really feel like getting real muddy that day. Uh, just letting you know, I'm commentating on this in late August. This is probably filmed back. This is filmed back in July. I just didn't get. I'm just getting caught up on videos right now, so hope you guys are enjoying this. I don't usually, this is my first time doing commentary, so, you know, I'm kind of not real good at this. But yeah, there's just a little clearing here. This trail winds out through to a field before you actually uh, start climbing the mountain. There's a story when we get down to the bottom of this hill, through the creek. That. No, it's not really a creek, it's like a big water hole, but it's dry in this video, but a couple years ago, me, me and my dad and a couple of his friends were riding, and right here, well, I guess this is the creek, it's right after we get through here, as you can see, I don't want to get my feet wet, right down here, this hole right here was full of water, it covered the four-wheeler almost, like the, sh the shifter was underwater, the handlebars were just barely above the water, and we come down through there, my dad has more of a racing four-wheeler. It's a Honda 400EX. And he's riding it. He's sitting up on the seat. Didn't want to get his feet all wet. And it something catches traction somewhere. Pulls a wheelie. Shoots him right out into the middle of this hole. So I had to go right out in the middle of it. Help him drag her out of there. So. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good day ride. But this trail is one that... I use every time I go up over the mountain. Just cause like you can take the mountain road, which is the same road that I was on in the beginning, and it's actually it's a pretty good ride. I mean, that road barely ever gets used, so people ride four wheelers on it all the time. But, like, but you know this trail is pretty fun, and it just takes you up over the mountain. It's real easy, nothing too extravagant. So yeah, um, sometime come along this big old rock and um, I'll tell you the story about that when we get near it because I think I didn't actually stop so most of the time when we ride this trail we stop and look at it but I didn't this time because it was like the third time I rode this trail with the kid I was riding with yeah right here you come up around this corner and you can see there's another trail that goes up over you know this trail is so old that there's so many different ways you can go around it that um, like there's spots where like a trail would get to um, would get too hard to ride so people would go around and like that back there and you know it had just rained hard like last night when this when we were recording this and that's why everything's so washed out if you can if you notice that that's why all the, a lot of the rocks are sticking up and uh Hey, if you notice, sometimes there's some there's parts of this clip where we get some water on the GoPro. 
fun. If you've noticed, there's a couple trails that go out through the woods. Those trails go like up to different windmill roads and stuff. This is just the trail we're on is just the main trail that goes across here. I think it's right up here. This trail, this part of the trail is pretty cool. Where we uh, come through, it's all rutted up, and it's real challenging. This is probably the most challenging part of this trail. Here's a little mud right here. Again, avoiding it. Didn't feel like getting muddy that day. And that's just me checking because the kid I was riding with, I didn't know him real well. He's alright. He was alright, I mean. Yeah. Just what, you know, his four-wheelers don't. It's a 250, but it's a little lower in the ground than mine. It's a little older. About the tracks, it's about done on about going on it. So I'm just like, when you keep looking me back, you know, you don't want to leave somebody behind, especially if they're, you know, riding with you as a guest, you know what I mean? You don't want to be a dick. But. All right, I gotta, I'm trying to find out when this rock comes. I'm not sure. Uh, this rock, this big old rock. I'll tell you the story now. So there's this big rock out here in the woods. It's called Santa Claus Hollow. That's what people call it. And the reason it's called that is because there's this guy who's supposedly buried there. He used to live there. And the story is that he would, because we live in this, we, this mountain goes right up over here. This part of the trail is pretty challenging too. But back to the story. So he lit, he would, this mountain goes right up over, like it's goes up next to this little town called Mainsburg. Well, back they say back in the late 1800s, this guy would go out and come out of his come out of the woods only on Christmas Eve, and he would give candy to the kids. You know, some people might think it's creepy or something, but I guess you know if you're the 1800s and it's an old guy, I mean, back then, whatever. If you can, if you watch the side, you can see rocks getting bigger, and we'll pull out into a clearing here. Pull out into a clearing clearing there'll be a trail that goes right and a trail that goes left and I think I start to go one way yeah yep start to go one way and then realize we're going the wrong way never actually gone out that other trail to be honest I have to do that sometime um so yeah um right there look right to your left up you can see it that's that big rock and back to the story so the guy he died up there and they say that he's buried there and you can go up to the rock and you can't tell his name, but there's a there's like his birth date and his death date. It's kind of the story. My uncle, when he was a teenager, now he's probably in his 30s. I think he's in his 30s now. Him and a couple of his friends took this trail. They went up over and they camped out right on top of the rock. There's a lot of room up there. He a couple tents, but so yeah, we're gonna come. We're coming. We're about to the top of the mountain right now. Um. So, as you can see, it's getting a little steep. We're climbing. Uh, uh, if you look, you can kind of tell where, if you look around into the trees, you can kind of see light from where, like, the woods left out onto a road. Just like, it's not a, like, road. It's like a windmill road. Come around this corner. I think we're going to go up around one more corner, and then we'll hit the windmill road. Windmill Road is kind of self-explanatory. It leads to all the windmills. They're pretty fun to ride because you can just go. You know, you're not supposed to ride them, but so many people ride them that I mean, they don't even work on the windmills anymore. Those windmills were put in right 2008 or 2009. Yeah, it's neat to go up to them, but yeah, another way you can tell it rained recently is because all the leaves are hitting my GoPro and the water's getting on it. Oh, clips. Okay, yep, you can see we're on the windmill.